Good morning. Welcome back to another week of the Nightly News. I'm Carlos. And I'm Jude. And here's the news, man. December 8th, that is the night of the senior project, like where you get interviewed and stuff. So, seniors, if you are like busy that day, become unbusy. Yep. December 15th is when the finals will begin, so everybody needs to start to study. Be ready for it. Um, yeah. And on January 7th, that's the winter formal dance. So go out, buy your little, buy your nice little get up, get you a date. Got mine. Good. And uh, <laughs> get ready to get your boogie on. Now on to birthdays. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to birthdays. I want to wish you a happy birthday to uh, Jaden Fabian, Kramer Key, Weston Nichols. Happy birthday to Taya Al, Zach Say, Shaley Underwood, Rhett Wiggins, and Jesse Williams. Now on to sports. Welcome back to sports. I'm Bryce. I'm Scholar. And the names for all conference have been released for football, and we would like to congratulate Cutlet Adams, Brock Adams, Bryce Adams, Carlos Lopez, and Zeke Silvers. And for the honorable mentions, we have Hayden Key, Colson Dooley, Quinn Jumper, and Roman Jones. The wrestling team will compete at, in the Falcon Frenzy next Friday and Saturday. Today, both basketball teams will be play at Nantahala today. The game will start at 6. Both varsity basketball teams won over Smoky Mountain. The wrestling team beat Franklin. Now, on to Karate with Carlos. My turn. Hi, I'm Dylan and welcome back to Interviews. Today we got Danner Ayers, come over here. And the question of the day is, if you could be any bird, which one would you be and why? Ostrich. Why an ostrich? Because they're cool. Why are they cool? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we got Davis and your question is, if you could be any bird, what bird would you be and why? I've been owl because they're very wise. All right, well, your question is, if you could be any bird, what would it be and why? I would be the blue-footed booby. The blue-footed booby. Yes. Is that a real bird? Indeed. I'm going to have to find a picture of that one. Blue feet, that's my name, mine, but uh, it's also got a funny name. That is a so. pretty funny name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aspen, if you could be any bird, what would it be and why? A bald eagle, because they're just America. 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 <laughs> now we got Delaney. If you could be any bird, what would you be and why? 
I would be a flamingo. Why a flamingo? Because they just look funny, you know? They're pink. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Can we redo it? <laughs> a peacock. Why a peacock? Because they look cool. They're pretty. So cool enough. All right, Draper, your question is, if you could be any bird, what would it be and why? An eagle, so I can fly fast and see everything. And because America, right? Yeah. America. Yeah, America. Thanks, man. You're welcome. I feel honored. Not a problem. See you then. Okay, welcome back to Coffee Shop Reviews. I'm Ted. I'm Aubrey. I'm T. I'm Hayden. And today we're trying the shake from the coffee shop. It's cotton candy flavor. It's like light blue color. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna try this and we're gonna rate it. That's, that's a five out of ten. I'm not really a big fan of it. I guess that's, that's a hundred percent. I give it an eight. I kind of like. I that. give it a five. If I could go lower, I would. But I am not a fan. I kind of like that. That's an eight. It's, it's, and now we have Arctic White here. Uh, as the name implies, it's a little bit of a white type of look. And so we're going to try this one and rate it. So. That's a 10 out of 10. I like that. Five. What's that candy, yeah. bro? It's like a white Reese cup type Five. of taste, bro. Five. It is six. Five. Um, yeah. I don't like that. I like it. It's like a white Reese cup. I like the Welcome back to T's Talk Down. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving as y'all get ready for the holiday season. I got Moo with me. I got Lowe's. And we got somebody new. We got Miss Miranda Buchanan with us. And we got a topic. We're going to talk it down for a minute. So, Carlos? The topic is, do you refrigerate ketchup or not? Absolutely. Absolutely. No. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, explain why you do not. Because Why ketchup. would you put... Okay, it's like saying ketchup on warm food. Literally, it, make it balances sense. it out. It makes it no, like it the best part. That. that defeats the purpose of even cooking it in the first place. Yeah, just eat it cold then. It's like, do you refrigerate hot sauce? I'm, no, yeah, I'm, you do. Yeah, that's crazy. There's hot sauce in the fridge. That they, house. They, they, they better not be. Oh, no, 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 no. no. My hot sauce at the house is in the cabinet. You come don't to my refrigerator. Oh, you come to my house and you see the Texas Pete. It's in the fridge, right? Why, dude? Because that's the best way. Dude, ketchup. No, it's just that way. Hot sauce, ketchup. I asked Miss Walter one day, and she said that ketchup can stay in the in the cabinet. It does not have to. Why does it have to? Why? Wouldn't, wouldn't it go bad once you open it? No. And what, seal? what do you think you eat at where, uh, restaurants? They put that away, don't they? No, no they, they don't. They don't. They they I worked at a place that did that. They just leave it they all leave it out on there. The table. Literally, that's they never Warm change ketchup. it. Buy cold ketchup. That clock says no, five seconds, gross. but we're going over because this is a good time. Oh, we got like. Ketchup, cold Dude, ketchup on warm food. Why? Like but no. Yes, it what is. about when you go through the drive thru and they give you the little packets? Those ain't cold. And those are pr probably way better. Those yeah, are way better, I, aren't they? But I mean, it's still ketchup. But it's different when it's out of the fridge. But I'm then when it's either. colder, you can't really taste it as much as when yeah. it's like warm. No, I feel so like. you tell me, how I see it is like you got a hot burger. I want some cold ketchup on that burger. Why? <laughs> no, no, that's, no, no, that's, no, no, that sounds cold. so gross. No, but that's not, because that's not it, it cools it down. It's like if you have a piece of pie and you put ice cream on it. That's not, I don't that's really care for it. That's different. No, that's, 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 so, that's, that's not the same That's not the same at all. No, because like, I don't really care for ketchup at the restaurants because it's not refrigerated. Like, it's just hot. It's just not the same. I'm telling you what, dude. I love ketchup, but like restaurants way better for that. Yeah. Or like, you just, you just leave it in your cabinet at home. Exactly. Well, at the end of the day. Me and my husband have separate ketchups. At the end of the day, some people <laughs> like hot ketchup, some people like cold. This mm -hmm. is what it is. Cold's better. Uh, cold is better. Warm. Well, thank you for joining us on Teens Talk Down. I hope you enjoyed our great debate. Um, thank you for Miss Miranda for coming on this episode, and we hope you'll have a great day. And yeah, peace out. Friction on, so ladies, ladies, do you wanna roll my Mercedes? Turn around, stick it out. Even white boys got the shout. Baby got. Gotta get the friction on, so ladies. Even white boys got the shout. Baby got. Thanksgiving weekend. I have Carlos Lopez and Moo Key with me. Have you started? And now on to birthday. Oh no! I messed up already. <laughs> I'm back with birthdays. Now on to birthdays. <laughs>
aannemen. Hey! Ik ben geen jongen. Ah! Alright, Seth, come on. Sam, what are you mad? Seth. We in 4K now! Hey, Parm, you wanna be in an interview? No, thank you. No, thank you. That's a wrap. That's all, folks.